This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. We have an interesting person to interview for the first time, possibly the first television interview, India's National Security Advisor, Mr. Narayan. So, uh, firstly, India is in the midst of really a discussion uh, with the United States. How far are we uh, to getting nuclear safeguards, uh, a treaty or a, you know, agreement with the United States? We are very optimistic that we, are, we have made good progress as far as the civilian nuclear cooperation agreement is, is concerned. No doubt there are elements in both countries who are unhappy at it. The, it's, I think, the nuclear non-proliferation lobby in the United States, mostly outside the government. The core, of course, is, of course, the separation of our civilian and strategic uh, facilities. And as We have worked very hard on, on this. I think, the, and I think the Atomic Energy Establishment is on board. The Atomic Energy Commission has endorsed it. And uh, 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 what we regard as a credible, a feasible, and an implementable plan has been drawn up. Our Foreign Secretary, Sham Saran, has gone to uh, Washington. I believe he has presented the plan to the, to the other side. Uh, we hope that he will come back with the draft legislation which the United States is supposed to present to Congress. That's, in, to some extent, the understanding. If both sides are reasonably satisfied with, with this, as also certain um, changes in the guidelines of the, of the nuclear suppliers group, I think it's possible to move forward. And do you see this legislation uh, from the US Congress side coming through before President Bush comes to India? No, I don't think it will happen before President Bush comes to India, because I think there, there's a Congress, a congressional recess, etc. We are hopeful that when, by the time President Bush comes, we can have something like an in-principle agreement. That is, many of the contentious issues on either side have been ironed out. And when the President comes to India, which we hope will be in early March, it will be a, this will be one of the main deliverables which will arrive, saying that the two sides have, have now reached an understanding as to what is possible. Then it will probably take another couple of months for the, the legislation to be uh, passed in the Congress and the process of fuel flowing in. And then, as you know, it is the program is to be done in phases. There is a sequencing under, uh, understanding uh, which has to be reached. And hopefully by June, it should be possible to start the process if everything goes well. So there are some concerns in India within, uh, from security analysts that uh, the separation between civil and military will be very difficult. And uh, really, what are the reactors, what are the possibilities that we can really allow ourselves to? Is it going to be the US safeguards or the IEA? What are the, how do you answer that entire lobby? Separation is, of course, <clears throat> difficult, but I, I think just as our nuclear scientists are brilliant in, in producing reactors, I think they're equally brilliant in ensuring what can be kept in the strategic realm and what can be kept in the nuclear realm. As far as safeguards are concerned, safeguards are supposed to be by the IAEA. The safeguards are not done by the US. The International Atomic Energy Agency does provide the safeguards. There are some issues to be resolved regarding the nature of the safeguards. We, we believe that as a, stage, as a nation which ha is a nu de facto nuclear weapon state, we should have the same rights as nuclear weapon states. And the July 18 statement contains a reference to, though it doesn't refer to a nuclear weapon state, it says it's an advanced nuclear, uh, a, a, a country with advanced nuclear capabilities, and it refers to such as the US. So we expect that the safeguards would be of, of much the same order or somewhere um, uh, marginally different from what is available to nuclear weapon states. But there's also concerns uh, that our nuclear weapons program could be compromised with these uh, international watchdogs looking at us. There is at one level the possibility that somewhere down the line we won't be able to go beyond what we really want to do. The, the safeguards apply to the civilian uh, sector of the uh, program. Our strategic program will be completely islanded. It is, therefore, there is no question of watchdogs being involved with the 
strategic program. So that fear is totally unfounded. The question whether the number of reactors that will be put under the strategic uh, is adequate for our strategic program is of course a matter that would be debated. But I think there are few countries in the world, well, I would say there are only three or four countries in the world who have such a brilliant group of, of nuclear scientists. And they have done a calibration. And I think the calibration is something that we find adequate uh, at the policy level. And I suppose we should go by that. As if the US Congress looks at those sites that you did give in the atomic energy, uh, if they say that they, they need more uh, atomic energy sites to be included, would, you, would that be subject to uh, negotiation? See, as far as we are concerned, we are not dealing with the US Congress. That has been made very, very clear. We deal with the US administration. It is for the US administration to deal with the US Congress. If the US administration would like some changes into the, uh, to the contours of the plan, just as we hope that if there, is, there are elements in the draft legislation that they produce, and we want changes, we expect that both sides will try to reach an understanding with regard to that. But I think, in a sense, what we have provided is very, very substantial. There's not too much scope for us to make, make changes. There could be some differences, perhaps, in the sequencing or the facing. But in the numbers, it may be difficult to make too much of a change. But anyway, that's, that's a matter of detail. We'll have to go back to the atomic energy group to look at those issues.